So in this document, we can see that the rows have different sizes. So one, and one two, three has same size. Four has, is slightly larger or bigger in size. Then fifth is as same as one, two, three. Sixth is slightly bigger. Ninth is more bigger. Tenth is also bigger. So essentially the sizes of these cells, um, the rows, is kind of different. So to make it uniform, how to do that? So just select the area or select the rows in the extreme left side and then press right key and then click on go height and then choose the size which you want. So let's say you want uh, 3 inches, 3 centimeters. So this is essentially 3 inches. So yeah, so now we have cells which have size of 3 inch. Now if you want the size to be 1 inch, do that. Click on you uh, just type 1 and then press OK. So now it's 1 inch. You can reduce it further. You can do that by just selecting the entire thing and then go height. Make it 0.25. Now it's kind of uh, uniform. It looks good. But we can see that uh, the content is hidden, is hiding. So or hidden. So how to ensure that it is visible? Just select the cells and then press right button of the mouse and then click on optimal view height. So it will ensure that the entire content of the cell is shown. So just press OK. And you can see that the cells uh, have automatically adjusted in such a way that uh, the entire text will be visible and accordingly the row height will be increased. So this is how we make a heights or width of columns uniform by selecting the area and then pressing right key, uh, right button of the mouse and then choosing a row height in case you want uniform height of every single row or column or optimal row height in case you have different, uh, you have lots of content uh, within the cells and if you want to, the cells to be uh, showing entire content of the cell. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button for receiving more updates from Being Skilled.